Today I'll be going over why I switched back to KDE as my desktop environment. So those of you that have been with the channel for a while might remember that at one point I actually did use KDE as my desktop environment, but other than that, I've mostly been using the GNOME desktop, which comes standard with vanilla Ubuntu. I've been using it ever since I switched to Linux back in February of 2019. And then I think in October of 2020, I switched to Kubuntu, which is a variant of Ubuntu that ships with KDE. And then I was using that for about a year before I switched back to vanilla Ubuntu. And now I'm back on Kubuntu. And I just wanted to go over why I did that. So in order to understand why I made the switch, you first have to understand that I'm someone who likes to personalize my Linux desktop and more specifically my Ubuntu desktop and get it how exactly I want. When I upgraded to Ubuntu 22.04, I've started noticing that there's some things that just aren't quite right once I've added on my customizations. There's certain things on the GNOME desktop that just aren't customizable, but also you know how vanilla Ubuntu ships the Snap Store by default? What I do is I uninstall the Snap Store and then in its place just install GNOME desktop as a Debian package. Now the Debian version of GNOME software actually has its own update mechanism built in and Ubuntu also does ship with software updater. So I essentially had two update mechanisms, one for updates to Ubuntu and Debian and Snap packages, and then another one for Flatpak updates and other updates that the Ubuntu software updater just wouldn't install. And I found that not only did these sometimes conflict with each other, but also the one built into GNOME software I found was kind of slow. Maybe that's also due to me adding Flatpak as a packaging format onto Ubuntu after installation because it actually doesn't ship with Ubuntu by default. But also when GNOME software would install OS updates, it would actually get me to reboot the computer just to apply the update. Now at least that part of it didn't take long, but still though it was an inconvenience nonetheless. And you have to remember that one reason why I originally switched from Windows to Linux was because of its live updates that would, for the most part, allow you to apply without a reboot. And you could use the computer while these updates were applying in the background. And when a reboot was necessary, one, it was really only for kernel updates. And two, it's just like a normal reboot and it's done, no no update screen or anything. So having to reboot to apply some updates was something that I didn't like. And you add that on top of GNOME's lack of customizability these days. Now I did try out vanilla Debian and that wasn't really a great experience for me because it uses an even newer version of GNOME that strips away even more customizability. So I just figured, you know what, the GNOME desktop just well, it's a great desktop for newbies. It's not for me. Someone who likes to apply their own custom themes to their desktop. And that's why I'm back on Kubuntu. Now, would I still recommend Ubuntu for a newbie? Oh yes, it's well suited for that group of users. The only reason why it didn't really work as well for me is because of the stuff that I did after installing Ubuntu. So I'm still recommending Ubuntu for newbies, but I understand with some people that's not their jam. Try Linux Mint. It has that Windows look and feel that Windows users will find familiar. But anyway, I just wanted to make this video to get out there why I decided to switch back to KDE. It's just out of personal preference. But anyway, thanks for watching. Give it a like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff and see you next time.